Oh. Hello YouTube! Well, Sentinel H here. Welcome to episode 34 of my Road to Recraft tutorial series. Now, I know that I said this episode was going to be about the block cannon, but I have to postpone that episode because I can't get it to work so far. Uh, so far, it refuses to fire blocks any further than directly on top of itself. So until I figure out how to make it work uh, properly, I'll be postponing that episode uh, you know, until then. So today we're going to talk instead about two uh, machines. And the reason we're talking about two machines is because they're both very straightforward and simple um, without much to say about either one of them individually. However, together they both f fulfill, in my opinion, similar philosophy basically the philosophy of if I can't have it no one can uh, and, and both of these machines sort of accomplish that uh, that goal so um, the first thing we're going to talk about is the EMP machine and uh, if you know what EMP is electromagnetic pulse it does fulfill the similar um, uh, role it does do the similar thing so let's see how to craft it. Uh, it's very expensive, the EMP machine is. It requires an another star, so you will have to kill a wither. And two base panels, a shaft core, four gold coils, and a block of diamond. So the block of diamond, and especially the nether star, you know, make it pretty expensive. And these things aren't cheap. They do require quite a bit of gold. I suppose, though, if you've gotten up to, another st to uh, getting another star, you've probably got a pretty good amount of these resources. Anyway, that crafts the EMP machine. And uh, what does the EMP machine do? Well, its handbook entry is very clear. It, it, well, not extremely clear. But the handbook entry, you know, basically says that... Uh, and we, we can look at it here. Um, that's the wrong thing, obviously. The EMP machine says it permanently disables nearby vulnerable machines. Um, shafts are immune because they don't have any electronic components. But uh, anything like a spawner, engine, or battery box will be destroyed. And apparently it will also destroy aura nodes from Thumbcraft. Uh, and uh, it, it requires power from the bottom and it requires a ridiculous amount of power. Um, all the, the little destruction you see here is from me testing this stuff earlier. So uh, what I've got set up around here is I've got uh, a couple of bat boxes from uh, in, in, you know, in, from uh, Industrial Craft 2 and I could also grab a sp uh, sp spawner of some kind something that won't spawn in the day like a uh, skeleton spawner. We'll place some of these skeleton spawners down. They shouldn't spawn in the day. Alright, so the way this works is that you place it down, it gets power from the bottom, and it's got this cool purple effect coming into it, which I think is pretty neat. I'm not really sure why it's there, but it's cool. Um, and then you gotta give it power, and it requires that massive number at the bottom there in watts. Uh, what this is is uh, 4.184 gigawatts, um, which you can get with something like this. This is, this is more than than that output, but you know this is just the numbers I crunched that would get me there. Um, and then the EMP machine explodes, and then the spawners were obliterated. They're just gone. And then these uh, these bat boxes drop to the ground. Um, they weren't obliterated, but they uh, they did get knocked off. Which, if you know about bat boxes in uh, industrial craft, it, they would lose all their power, which is not nice. But uh, yeah, basically the EMP it, it destroys itself. Although you'll notice all of the resources to craft it were uh, put on the ground. So you know, you could actually recraft this thing uh, if you pick your never start back up. Unless that's not supposed to do that, I don't know. But uh, yeah, the EMP machine blows up and it, it's got a range of 64 blocks. It will destroy those spawners or it'll either destroy completely or pop off uh, machines and stuff that are that have electronic components. So that's what the EMP machine does. Uh, quite dangerous. I would never recommend setting this up uh, near your stuff. For obvious reasons, I I think it's it's purely an offensive sort of a thing. Um, if you can set this up outside somebody's place and manage to get enough power into it to fire it uh, within 64 blocks of someone's base, they would be screwed. But good luck getting that much power set up uh, quickly. Anyway, that's the EMP machine. Pretty powerful, but a, an enormous power requirement. All right. Now let's talk about the self-destruct mechanism, which I think is pretty darn cool. 
It's very much cheaper to craft. Uh, three TNT, a circuit board, four steel ingots, and a shaft unit. And what the self-destruct mechanism does... Why is it getting dark? It's weird. We're going to come over here, away from our island. Now, uh, what the self-destruct mechanism does, if you read the handbook, it says that when its power supply is cut, it, quote, unleashes all sorts of destruction. That's what it says. So, uh, I've actually not fired this off yet, so, uh, you know, we'll both be, uh, we'll all be learning. I think it gets its power from any side. Does it? No. Either that or it doesn't have an actual, uh, thing, uh, bounding box on it. But if we go in here to the self-destruct mechanism, yep, can detect when its power supply is damaged and unleash all sorts of destruction. Power input, any side. Detonates on power loss. All right. So we'll place it down. Pop a coil on it. I don't. It doesn't appear to have a power requirement, so we'll just give it 1024. 1024. So now we're giving the self-destruct mechanism some power, and if we hit this, it says that yes, power is being received from, you know, whatever. Now when we cut this... Holy good lord. Whew. Yeah, that was quite a blast. For not a whole lot of... Uh, cost. So that's a, that's a pretty good explosion there. So yeah, the idea being that you, you set up, uh, you know, these self-destruct blocks you know, if, you, if you're on a PvP environment, which I think is the only reason you'd ever want to build one of these, you know, and, uh, you know, somebody finds your, your base or whatnot, and, uh, you know, you, you know you're not going to be able to stay there anymore, and, and, and you want to stick it to them, then uh, maybe have a tricky little system set up where there's like a lever or something, and if they pull it, it'll activate a clutch, it'll power off a self-destruct mechanism, boom! Uh... All the stuff you had that they were so happy to have captured, it's gone. Especially if you attached it to a nuclear reactor. Because <laughs> that would not be a good thing for them. Uh, yeah, so anyway, that's these two machines. Um, they're both very destructive um, and probably uh, quite a lot of fun. I especially like the idea of the self destruct mechanism. Very cool, very uh, if I can't have it, nobody can uh, stick it to the, the man sort of thing. Great for PvP, obviously. I mean, there's, there's no better way to, to make a, a, a pvp -er, you know, they think that they've vanquished you and they've captured such an awesome base full of amazing technology and then as soon as they try and power it on, kaboom or something. <laughs> especially, especially if they don't know much about rotary craft <laughs> and how it works. Um, so they might even be able to trick them into destroying everything. But be very careful. <laughs> Be very careful if you set up a uh, self-destruct mechanism, because once you give it power, uh, you need to break the self-destruct mechanism uh, before trying to pick it up. Actually, let's just uh, make sure that that's true, because you, you know we're going to want to be able to pick this up without demolishing everything. So we'll just give it some power, and then I will grab myself a pickaxe. Why not grab myself a bedrock one just for fun? We will go into survival mode. Now if we turn this off it'll explode, but if we pickaxe it we can pick it back up. So there you go. Be very careful with the self-destruct mechanism. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. So you can use that to set up some dead man switches and stuff and then that'd be pretty fun uh, for PvP. Um, both of these machines really are for PvP. Um, unless you just really want to destroy aura nodes some for some reason and you don't want to just punch them I don't know but yeah you could totally screw up someone's day with the EMP machine and uh, you can get revenge quite effectively with the self-destruct mechanism so yeah that's pretty much it um, like I said the video on the block cannon is postponed until I can get it to work and uh, or Reka tells me that it's bugged or something I don't know it, right now I can't get this block cannon to work properly so I'm not gonna do a video on it yet so next the next video will either be the block cannon if I can get it to work, or we'll talk about the air pressure gun. And uh, really then we'll only have the Van de Graaff generator one more to go, and we'll be done with this section, and then we can get into one of the other sections. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, stay tuned for you know more videos coming soon. I'm Sutton Leach, and I'm signing out.